Today in 5 minutes, I'm going to show you how to make a BBC style news sticker using only Sony Vegas, no other programs or plugins required. This cat can't believe it. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the tab that says Media Generators. If you don't see this when you open Vegas, just go up to the top where it says View, drop down to Windows Layout, and then click on Default Layout. This will restore any tabs that may have previously gotten closed. Next, we're going to check Solid Color, pick whatever color of the rainbow you want, and drop it down in the timeline. Once you have your solid color in the timeline, go ahead and right click on it to bring up the properties menu. Under properties, we're going to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and click on disable resample. So what we're going to do now is use the pan and crop function to change the size of this solid color to make it into a rectangle that we can have our news scroll across on. So go ahead and hit the event pan and crop icon, that's that little square in the middle on the bottom right hand side of the clip, where we can right click your mouse and get up to it that way. Now, before we start changing the size, there are a couple things that we need to look at first. On the left hand side of the screen, we'll see an icon called Lock Aspect Ratio, and right underneath that, Size About Center. Notice when I'm hovering the mouse over them, the square on the icon darkens. That's what they would look like selected, so make sure neither one of those is selected. Underneath that, you'll see an arrow. Click on it until it's going up and down in vertical, and it says Move and Y only. That way, when we adjust the size, we're only adjusting the height and not the width. Now, if we want to be a little more precise about this, we can go over to where it says height and type in a custom number. You may find you want yours to be a little thicker or thinner than what I'm showing, so play around and see what looks good to you. Now there's one final step that we have to do, and that is to change stretch to fill frame to no. That way we'll just show the shape that we have selected, and it won't be trying to stretch to fill up the whole screen. Okay, so now that we have our rectangle, go ahead and drop some text into the timeline. You can use any style or size font that you want. The only restriction being your message has to fit on the screen. You can't have any words or letters spilling off the side because they won't work, they'll just get clipped off. So we'll click on the event pan and crop tool on the text box, and this time we're going to change this arrow so that we're moving in the X direction only, because our text is going to scroll across horizontally. And starting from the very beginning of the clip, we're just going to drag this box so that the letters go just off to the right hand side of the screen. Next, we're going to click on the end of the clip, maybe a few frames back from the end, and we're going to drag that box of text all the way off to the left hand side of the screen. Now notice what happens when we do this. Sony Vegas automatically creates a second keyframe at the end of the clip. And it's the combination of these two keyframes that creates the panning motion. That's why they call this the pan and crop tool. In Sony Vegas, we're using a combination of keyframes to simulate movement in our video tracks. Make sense? If not, let me know in the comment section below, because I'm trying to be thorough without being too tedious. Sometimes that's a fine line to walk though, because everyone has their own experience level. Just know that there's no such thing as a dumb question, we're all just here to learn. And if you've made it this far, the good news is, it only gets easier from here. Quick show of hands, how many of you out there have ever copy and pasted something? Yes, you know it makes things a lot faster. That is why we're going to copy and paste all of our additional text, because chances are you're going to have a lot of messages in this news ticker. You don't want to be fooling around with keyframes each and every time. So this way, the keyframes are still there, and any edits that we make are just going to change the text. Now, you do want to make sure you're always creating a new copy of the source media. That way, those changes will not affect the original in any way. So question for you. How is our news ticker different from one you might see on the BBC or something like that? Well, for starters, we have way too much empty space in between when our first message ends and the second one comes in. So rather than place our clips side by side next to each other, what we're going to do is overlap them so there's a lot less wasted space. Now the other thing that the BBC News ticker has going for it is the words don't just go off to the edge of the screen. They actually go underneath another rectangle and then it has BBC World News on it. Well, we know how to create a rectangle, that's easy enough. We did it at the start of the project. So go ahead and insert another video track and notice the placement. This is on top of everything else that we've already created, so that is very important. I'm just going to run through this kind of fast since we've already shown how to do it once. If you need to, go back to the start of the video, but the key things to remember are making Maintain aspect ratio and stretch to fill frame both need to be set to no. Alright, once that is in place, I'm going to go over to the video effects tab, which should be next to media generators, and drop in brightness and contrast. That way my rectangle won't be exactly the same shade of red as everything else. I think I want to make it a little darker. And I know before I flashed up the BBC News ticker, that was just for a comparison reference. We by no means are trying to create an exact replica of that. That's not what this tutorial is about. So before you type in, your color scheme's way off and the font's not even close, I realize that. That's not what we're trying to do here. I just wanted to show you a fast and easy way to make a news ticker. So if you found this helpful, hit that like button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.